Danger approach. And I'm off. do that for you. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly! And I'm off. Ha! Yes.
Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedek, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me.
Yes. Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single, beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, Even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. In my dream, I fell. Or... Or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? They said my ideas were blasphemy. But is it so bad if what I believe gives me comfort? If it could give someone else comfort? I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. 
My mother is such a one. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? I wouldn't advise it. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. What do you need? <laughs> you don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral. <coughs> Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Yes. I know. I think he came from Hyeba. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just. Oh, oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you. I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like that. So would he, I think. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Enchantment! <laughs> Yes. You want one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have. I'm... The roof. It is. I am Sten of the Beresar. Though it... This? Mercy! I would also... Yeah. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight? Are you... My people have heard legends of the Grey Wardens. Perhaps if you told her... Farewell then. To be left. Primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep. At There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. If, if he will... Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to sh... Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. 
The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library. Good luck to you. And you. We are the only hope of protection this village has. And the Maker's Chantry like Good day, Sister Leliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Leliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Those who seek redemption deliver. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it... You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Perhaps we have different ideas of freedom. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I... May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere.
Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Bad breath of it. Crap, right ahead. What do you need? Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. Why, bless my soul, what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman, leastwise I used to be. Poor old Kester, out of a job. Gregor just came down and said, don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. He's knight commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? 
You go on ahead then. They were nice talking to you. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The Tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the Tower's halls. The Circle is lost. The Tower has fallen. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide.
I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I certainly hope so. Are you here to trade, then? within. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you, you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Well, Allow me. Company? I do that for you. Do I even want to ask? No. You really what don't. now? Just like you wanted. do that for you. What's next? you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I will accept that for now. But what are you doing here, then? And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it, then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. If you are here to kill abominations, let me help you. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. My mother often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're alright? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this.
Indeed. Yes. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. Yes. Do you hear that? I think there's someone near here. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know, but he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. 
Nial was in the meeting, he would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Wynne? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. I fear the worst. What now? What now? My 
into a partial ritual. Curiosity unchecked became greed for this unfortunate apprentice. What do you need? do that for you. Sorry. Be quick.
Now let's see. Which one first? Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. This cannot continue. We have to stop it. Oh, look. Visitors. I entertain you, but too much effort involved. He's just resting. Poor lad. He was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. I'll not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist! You must resist! Else we are all lost! Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve. 